So Johan is this guy here. And this dude is here to help. So it is a simple network device monitoring tool specifically for Cisco iOS 6e devices for now. Johan is here to showcase you the power of direct device communication with ResConf. So what you can do here is the following. You actually get the configurational and operational data from your iOS XE devices via ResConf to Johan. How does it work? It, there's three simple steps. At first, you gather your IP address, the username and password of your iOS XE devices. You import these devices to Johan into the internal database. And then you basically gather all this information into one single database or into one single dashboard. Let's check it out. So first of all, you would like to add your devices. So you can of course do this uh, with the multiple import. So where you basically have an example CSV file there, you put it into the schema and then you update the CSV file there. Uh, for now, I only would like to add a single device. So this is why I am going here to put or to add here the single device there. And I'm using a definite always on sandbox. So this is the iOS XE always on sandbox where I'm getting the data. So now I'm adding via basically this add single device uh, form. I'm adding the data via ResConf to the Johan database. And look, uh, everything went uh, successful, so the data should now be inserted into the database. If I check now all the devices, I have an overview of all the devices which I have already added to Johan. And here we see as well, I added the CSR 1000V, which is the sandbox. And if I would like to have more information, maybe on another device, I can actually click on the host name and then actually get into a more detailed uh, page. So I have here now a more detailed view of the device. I see the specific configuration there. I see the memory status, the CPU status, also how many disks are there and uh, how many megabytes or gigabytes are available on disks. I can see operational data. So when was the last reboot? What is the Roman version? Or what is the current time at this device? I even see the image files here. And when I scroll down more, I can even check the ARP data and the CDP neighbor data here as well. And of course, one of the most important part, the interfaces. So I can see in one view the description, admin status, operational status, and even when was the last change of this specific interface. And I can scroll down and see this for every interface which has been configured on this device. When I go back, I actually can refresh all this data so you don't need to add the devices once uh, more again. So you see here the last database update. So if you would like to have to, to get the newest information of the devices, you just click here, refresh all the device data and start the, ref the refresh process there. But more importantly, you would like to get, of course, the information out of this database. And this is where you can build reports. So when you go to reports and device sets, you actually see the overview of the whole devices there. And you can put whatever you'd like. So for example, I put here predefined the used iOS XCD versions. You can see in one click uh, what kind of or what versions of iOS XC is installed on the, on the devices. You can also check the memory status there. And here you can see that like out of the 19 devices which in the database, all of them have a healthy memory status. When we see down there, you can see the overall operational status of all interfaces. So you can see, for example, that the majority of the interfaces are actually down but ready to connect. And uh, up and connected are about 100. Uh, I also put as an example, like if IOX is enabled on devices. So here you see that 84% are actually have uh, IOX enabled and only 15, 16% don't have IOX enabled. And imagine the possibilities. You can actually put there as well your own customized graph. So for example, if the right NTP server is um, configured, or for example, if the specific interface configurations are actually the right one or are actually incorrect. So you can set what is the norm and what is not the norm and can display the graph here. Another cool thing is the export and one view. So you can actually see the whole data which is in the database in a compact view, in a nice relational table. 
So you see here in one site, in one view, what is the name server? What is the configuration of SNMP? What is the spanning tree mode? Is IOX enabled or not? And you can export all of this in Excel. So you can have the same table in Excel format here. What else can you do? So under tools and enable RESConf, you can actually enable RESConf on the specific iOS XE device. So if we put in here the credentials of uh, one of the devices and uh, which, where RESConf is not enabled, you actually can able, enable it here directly in the UI. So we are using NetMiko for this one and we are actually just putting these two configurations line onto the device. And then we can actually get the data from the RESTConf interface. Another thing is that you can actually show run in JSON. So what you can do there is, here again, let's use the sandbox. Here you actually can see the running configuration in JSON format. So here you get a feeling of how the data is formatted and how it can be used. Last but not least, you have the logs, like a really cool log page where you can see what kind of uh, devices are successfully imported, if there were any problems or any other errors, then you can find it here in the logs. So this is your one. So if you have any questions, requests, or if you'd like to work on some uh, modules even, then definitely check out this GitHub repository. Thank you.